trying to attack Cousins here comes Parsons Parsons got him from behind and the ball is out and the Cowboys recover it was Parsons coming around his man and getting to him from behind and Armstrong has the recovery comes it down underneath and Elliott has it oh they're all inside running outside and hand it off up the middle, and he lunges for the first. Turpin in motion. Back to the end zone. Prescott pass intended for Dalton Schultz. And a Viking got a hand on it. 27-yard field goal attempt for Maher, who's had only one attempt the last three games. And this one driven through. So the Cowboys collect three off the takeaway. And teams are designing runs to get up on the secondary, so the guys on the outside got to tackle a little better. Here's a second and eight. Jefferson with the catch at the 50. Diggs started on him at the line of scrimmage. First down to Cook. He broke one last week. Oh, the flag was thrown in the middle of the field. And he's as healthy as he's been all year, battling that knee and ankle stuff. So I think you're going to see him take off. Here's the toss. Got it outside. Cook. And. We're talking about all these targets that they have. Don't forget about Osborne as well. He's a touchdown maker. Here's the throw, and Hawkinson got a hand on it, but incomplete, and it will be a field goal attempt. And they match him. Dallas wins this one. They'd match the Giants with a record, but have them head-to-head -head at 7-3. and three. There's the catch by Gallup, and Drake Rabbit was. He's still going. To the 50-yard line. You know, Booth got benched last week for Selly. Yeah, in the late stages of that game. Here's Pollard. Somehow gets out of traffic and goes all the way to the 36. Looks like they had him a couple of times. There he goes again. Spinning out of a hit. Look at that. Just what you said. To the 16-yard line. Second and two. Over to Lamb. Able to slip out of the hit. He's always been exceptional from here. Here he is, Zeke, seeks, and scores. Well, that was the ninth Dallas snap in the red zone, and they got it across this time. He's always been exceptional from here. Here he is, Zeke, seeks, and scores. Well, that was the ninth Dallas snap in the red zone, and they got it across this time. If you really had this one-two punch, let's pretend Pollard was starting. Getting used to those Bengals uniforms on the road. We'll see him in two weeks, though, in Kansas City. Here's Cousins. What a was the offensive coordinator for the Super Bowl champ Rams last year under Sean McVay. Come on, starting eight and one. Here's the third and three, and he would have liked to have seen something better than this result, but the Cowboys have the sack with Armstrong. There's a completion to that is Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson, Peterson on Lamb, who has one catch for six yards. Look at the opening up the middle. Him and Zach Martin, you see him run that direction a ton on big downs. The action fake to Pollard on first down. And the throw to an open Schultz. First time they had third down outside of three yards to go. And the clock got down to zero. Prescott, though, keeps it. They say the snap was in time, and he's got the first down. Dallas gets away with the delay of game. Clock hit zero, but they want to play Ben, but don't break. Dak gets up. Here he is on third and 12 from the pocket. Diving attempt incomplete for Gallup. And there's Bland, or sorry, Booth Jr. Tracy said he hit a 62-yarder in pregame, Jim. No surprise, never missed from outside 60 in his career. Three for three, and this from 53 with plenty of room to spare. Defense and they sacked the quarterback more than anyone and you lost your left tackle right now, Jim. It's grim third and eight Parsons was coming in and Cousins had to unload it Alvarez the former legendary coach and athletic director for the Badgers Here's third and three easily picking up the first down. Look at the way the line dominated that play Tony It takes a ton of time to be able to know what the other guy's gonna do and they do it really well It's Dallas over a hundred on the ground with 58 of it, but they're right here. That was that we were there week two. People already ready to say it was over. What a job Rush did. Cowboys complete it to Pollard in a sprint. Pollard touchdown Dallas.
Dalton Schultz through the block that sprung him for 30 yards. Receptions. Second and 10. Cousins. Good pass. There he is. There's Parsons. Micah Parsons. Such a force. Second and 23. Cousins. Parsons breathing on him. 14 and 0 and 4 and 9 in all the other games. There's what you want a wide receiver screen with Lamb at Metropolitan Stadium. I know you know all about that, Roger Staubach and Drew Pearson. Oh, watching today. Here's pass to Schultz. Brought into the league by Pete Carroll. Great admiration for Coach Carroll and his way with players. Same kind of thing from Ed. Here's a second and four. On the sideline. Oh, wow. What a catch. The feet are down. Seconds to go. Look at this. I think that's a catch. What a throw. Good job by Lamb. Didn't okay. bother him a bit. That's Didn't bother him at all. I told you he <laughs> never misses over 60. Because if I said he'll miss, he, I knew the jinx would go the other way. He didn't make it. I mean, they're getting off the field. They're getting stops. And one for six. That's it. And it goes with Pollard. The safety valve has the first down. Put 55 inside. Get a matchup you like. I don't know. It's against Zach Martin. Good luck. Going deep. Pollard has the catch. And no one will touch him again. Touchdown, Dallas. This starts. Uh, it's a perfect throw. Thank you, Trace. First down, first snap of the second half for Minnesota. And look at this. More oh. the same. Is this time Demarcus Lawrence gets yeah. into the act. Second round pick out of Ole Miss. Third and 19. Oh my goodness. Oh. Take that, says Dante Fowler. Third and five. Uh oh. Open. Oh, it's Noah Brown. Ball is out. He didn't take it to the ground. They're going to give him the catch, it looks like. Second and goal. <laughs> That's when you just run. Here's Zeke. Spins around. Stays up top on his feet and scores. That first down play was just Kellen Moore. Dak Prescott, I've been there. You go over the side and like, no, no, let's throw it. It'll be wide open. They're like, well, we can just run it. They double up like the next closest team in the league on that stuff. It's Dalvin goes for the first down gain of 11. And this is what happened, though. Yeah, well, I think the big thing is... We watch Cousins drop and pressure again. Got away from him this time. And flag flies as the pass is complete to Munt. The First down. Oh, oh, they come after him again. Oh, Jim. Curse. This is what we talk about. But Minnesota, we really want to see him today, see if they can stand up to that kind of pressure. Back at the five, he throws it. And Hawkinson brought down by Diggs. It changes. Like I said, Kirk was magnanimous about it when we talked to him this week. There's a third down stick by Patrick Peterson to end that series for Dallas. Three and out. That's where you get the Cowboys on that edge, Jim. Let the movement inside and go right toward that tight end side. That's the third first down for the Vikings in this quarter. Marcus win. Jones. One or two games a year, they win on special teams, don't they? They do. Another check's background. Mm -hmm. Third and 20, and give them another sack. Take some starters out because you have that quick turnaround. From both sides. There's Gallup. And he picks up 20. They down in the truck. Our director, Mike Arnold. Producers, Jim Rickoff and Ryan Galvin is... And we'll have the first one. Here's the third and foot to go. And Davis has the first. Rookie from Florida. Undrafted. It did take me right to my wife, Candace Romo, at the end, which was perfect. So, John, Al, well done. I don't know how I got back to my wife, but I might make sure she's happy when I get home. Sure wish I had Maher on my fantasy team. This from 50. He's got one from 60, from 53, from 50 now. As well as a chippy from 27. Four for four on the game. I've got one I think that's every bit as good as this. 
As you see Mullins play action and bootleg and complete it. Nice looking play right there. Complete to Naylor coming in. This one's over. These two teams, who knows? They could meet again, folks. And the NFL, you never know, like, how these things work out the second time around. Vikings still haven't won a home game against the Cowboys since 2010. Yep, the visiting team has won the last five matchups in this series. And there's the old NFC North coach all those years in Green Bay accustomed to coming to Minnesota. He comes in here with his Cowboys, and they dominate from start to finish.